my younger daughters in the room so i'll i'll, uh, I'll uh, repeat a story i told her uh, one time and so i was i picked her up you know she she goes to school in new york and so she's usually coming in on these late night flights so i picked her up one time at like one in the morning um from lax and we were driving uh we were driving back and i think it was uh december uh last year we were driving back home from lax to irvine and um she uh she had worked in the summer um as a as an 18 year old and she had uh made a little less than five thousand dollars over the summer and um and the um the IRA rules allow you to put up to $5500 into an IRA or uh if you make less than 5500 then the amount you earned so if you made 4000 for example you could put 4000 into an IRA and uh so i i had asked her to open a, a Roth IRA and then we'd put the um uh, the $5000 or so into that Roth IRA and you know so she's in the car almost falling asleep and uh so i was saying you know you're uh, 18 years old um uh, let's fast forward to when you're 68 years old um which is 50 years from now and and let's say that we are uh, that that $5000 is is growing at uh something like let's say 10% a year or something for example and uh so i said that you know uh what would it be uh when you're 68 years old and so you know if you're if you're compounding at 10% you know rule of 72 every 7 years the money is going to double so 50 if you could take 49 years is 2 to the power 7 and what is 2 to the power 7 for say is that uh, 128 128 so so you take the 5000 and uh, you're at about uh, something like um, 700000 or something or uh, 650000 or something that's at the age of 18 if she does another internship at the age of 19 with something similar and then you know eventually at maybe 22 or 23 enters the workforce uh and you know let's say when she enters the workforce she gets a i don't know $60,000 job or something and at that point you may be hopefully saving 15% in a 401k and reducing your income by 10% or something uh, i mean the key the key to getting wealthy uh is to spend less than you earn and so what i once i told her the that she was going to have like 650,000 she was wide awake um and she said what 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 how did that happen right and i explained how it happened and then i said but that was at 18 i said then at 19 you do another internship uh that becomes another 600,000 at 20 you do another internship and and uh, eventually you enter the workforce and eventually in your 30s you're making probably six figures and so on and if you keep spending less than you earn uh what happens uh when you're 70 and eventually she gave up she said the number's too big right and 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 so the thing is that uh, that's with doing no stock picking you know to your point no reading you know <laughs> uh, just just uh, party all the time right but just make sure that 15% gets saved and uh, so the thing is that the 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 key the the key to getting wealthy is actually it's actually very simple number 1 spend less than you earn uh number 2 put it into something consistent some kind of s&p index or something like that um and then number 3 uh, don't take loans against it and don't use it to go on vacation or down payment for your house or any of that do all that somewhere else and just let this go and it's uh, amazing what those uh, numbers will end up being at that time and um So that's a that's a good way to go. And you know, it's not a tragedy if she doesn't get 10%. Even even 7% will double every 10 years, you know. So you you still the key is to start early and have a long runway. There's another talk I give 
It's called the secret. Okay? The secret to becoming very wealthy. That's what you want, right? Okay, so here's the secret. So, um, how many hours are there in a week? The Dakshana scholars can tell me. 168 hours, okay. And when you start working full time, let's say you finish your degree in IIT and you join um, Infosys or something, how many hours a week are you required to work? Ashok, how many hours? 40, 40, 45. In the US, it's 40 hours, let's say 45 hours. So uh, let's say 50 hours. We want to work hard for our employer. So 50 hours, how many hours are left? One, one, eight. one, one eight. Okay, so even if you take out time for sleeping and other things, what you will find is that you are basically left uh, with at least another 30 or 40 hours that you could do something else. Okay? And uh, so the something else, you can spend it with your friends and watching movies and enjoying yourself, or you can spend it in your Swami, Swami Vivekananda single-minded pursuit of maximum wealth. So what do you want to spend it on? With friends or to maximize wealth? Maximize wealth. Maximize wealth, okay. So, uh, that is what I did. So basically when I, uh, when I uh, graduated uh, with a degree in engineering, I took a job and uh, they required me to work 40 hours a week. And uh, after uh, three years of working, um, I had an idea of something I wanted to do. And um, so what I said is, okay, I used to get very good reviews with my employer. I said, I no longer care about the review, how good I'm doing, that's irrelevant. My objective was, once I knew what I wanted to do, my idea of my business, was to not get fired. They should not tell me you have lost your job because I need the cash flow. So I just did enough to make sure that I'm not fired. And so what I used to do is from um, 7 in the morning to about 8.30 in the morning before I went to work, I used to work on my business. And then about, about 6 o'clock or so, I would come home till about midnight. I would work on the business. And then all weekend, I would work on the business. And anytime I had client meetings or anything like that, I took a vacation day. So my I could even take half a day vacation. So I had vacation built up. So anytime, so basically the paycheck is coming in. Someone is paying me, right? And uh, this business I was trying to do, if it did not work, you know, there would not be much cost because I'm, I still have a job. And I was, I was working from it from my home. And it took me about uh, 10 months from the time I started this focused activity, I was 24 years old, till the time I got my first client. So 10 months I was just continuing to do different things, and then finally the first client arrived. And then after about two weeks, the second client arrived. And these were significant amounts of revenue. You know, each client was north of 100, 150,000 of consulting revenue. So there were big chunks of uh, money coming in. And uh, so basically, once I had the third client and I could see that for the next few months, we would be cash flow positive. I, when I went in to resign to my boss and his boss. And I explained to him that, hey, you know, I've started my own business and uh, it seems to be taking off and now I'm going to go do my business. So they tried very hard for me not to leave. And then they told me, my boss and his boss, they called me, they said, you know, we could not understand. You were doing so well. And then last 10 months, you were not doing so bad that we were to fire you. But it was not what we used to see before. I said, exactly. That's what I was trying to do, is not get fired. Just barely, you know, stay above firing level. And um, they did not say if. They said, when your business fails, not if your business fails. They said, when your business fails, come back here, uh, much higher salary. They gave me a offer to pay me a lot more. And uh, they said, just anytime the business will come back, we'd love to have you. So I said, this is fantastic. 
Okay, I have my four months from this client, full full efforts behind it to get more clients. And if it fails, no need to even look for a job. Just go back, higher pay. Why? Because of the secret. You basically have the time to do two jobs. And everyone thinks you should only do one job. And so what you do is you do your second job. And if it fails, no problem. Start something new. Fails, no problem. Start something new. And just keep going, something will hit. And as you keep doing things, you learn more things and you'll just keep going from there.